Northwest to world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Tonight we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. Looking to throw it right at the outset. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Well, this defense for the Dolphins, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. Second and seven. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Diggs going in motion right. And some room to maneuver. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. So a design run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that come. Well, on this play, how about the vision of it? Being able to see the open field make his move and get there oftentimes defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it on that play if they did it certainly is lost <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt here's the bills kickoff unit now as they will send this one away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. Cowboy 
Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, we went from scoreless to 13 0 in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one two punch than that. Fall off a touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Okay, ready. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Smith. And going deep for Hill. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make our score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. First down, here's the run with Cook to about the 40-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On play action, Allen. And he wisely will throw that one away. I like what he showed me in this game because he certainly has understood when it was time to scramble with the ball. On this play, he shows me that he knows when to throw it away as well.
So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air, Allen. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. And yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. down and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Allen. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. No problem there on the extra point. And it's now 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where the... And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring, and another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they're back with a touchdown at 21 14 to the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. On first down, Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now Allen. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. 
Jalen Phillips able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends in what we've seen so far. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Allen on third. Looking for Austin, intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenagany. And the Dolphins are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. After the interception, here's Smith. Swings this out here for Cohen. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tariq Cohen from 21 yards away. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll need to regroup after the costly interception last time. It led to a tying touchdown. 21 all is where we stand, and they've got it first and 10. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll give to Cook on the read option. They find some open field here. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Throwing on first down is Allen. Uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. here in the middle of the field. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, turnabout is fair play, I guess. They had a pick six against them earlier. Now this defense, Charles, they get a pick six of their own. And for a moment, let's just set aside how it impacts the scoreboard because how about the response? One defense gets the pick six, the other comes back and matches it. These are two defenses that are kind of winning the game for their teams themselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. 
Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Option play. Here's Cook. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The last run got six, now second and four. To throw, it's Allen. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Alert, alert, alert. On play action, Allen going deep for Diggs. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 42-yard line. A nightmare of the first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith. And he'll take this to the 46. The Dolphins at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. On second down, here's Smith again. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll lead the 39 here for a first. This is third down. A shotgun snap for Smith. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cohen. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. A first down carry for Smith. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Rush coming and he's taken down. Gregory Russo. In there to bury him for a loss of 11. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. Mustang 19. Go check, go check. 
Out of the gun, Smith. Going to look deep for Wilson. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you, and that time, they were on guard, incomplete. Come on, come on. Hey. Look at my team. On fourth down, Smith. Oh, looking for Ronald, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away? and take control. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. That's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Inside handoffs, and he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they had just picked it off to get the football. They fumble it right. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. position to start the drive but under the gun now here on third and eight Gino out of throw Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense up to the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. This a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. It's a golden field position there in scoring as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first-to-goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit to hold them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Jalen Phillips. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now a timeout taken. 
Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Allen off the play fake. Going deep for Diggs. It got his man complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. He's got a man complete, and he's got room. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 79 yards after the big play. A chance to finish now on first and goal. Off the option, that's complete. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They start the drive with Cook. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it again with Cook. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. And now they'll throw with Allen. Has his man. It's Shakir. 
And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And Cook has it, left side. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. On second down, Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And my goodness, another interception. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Smith. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now it's Smith running right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 
give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Pass the 60, pass the 60. Ready. Smith up the middle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with second and five now. Here's a give to Smith. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So he stopped for no gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Here we go on fourth. Smith. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. 60 bites. 60 bites. Hey, hey. Check that. Check that. They go back to the ground now with Smith. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. But I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with his Allen hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this one was over a while ago as they just on to that big lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. 66 yards on the ground for him so far. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. One final try here for Allen. They'll roll him out right. Diggs crossing the field and bringing it in. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the gun, it's again to Cook. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Half 85, half 85. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On play action, Allen. He'll buy some time right. And now here's another interception. And the Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Uh, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. The partner under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show.